morning everybody it's Friday we're supposed to go in today um, they supposed to be our first day uh, it's already in the 60s this morning so I don't know how long that'll last uh, we're gonna call in and find out if we're gonna go even go in I think the uh, <clears throat> the actual beginning of the uh, job is supposed to, is being moved back uh, till Monday and I don't even think we're gonna do it on Monday because the temperature is gonna be too hot so it may be Tuesday. So we're just hanging out and got up, got ready just in case. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. Hey everybody, um, didn't do much today. We went down and uh, went to the piler that we're gonna be working on and the boss kind of went over some things and everything. The weather was just too bad this morning and uh, we're probably not gonna be back at work until Tuesday of next week, so. We're headed to Grand Forks, North Dakota today to pick up some supplies and uh, just check out the town. So, keep you posted. This is where the University of North Dakota plays their football games. Yes, in a dome stadium. Finally back at the park we started to uh, look at while well, before my car tragically broke down. Of course it's running now and everything's super cool. It's a few hundred dollars poor. But, um, we're gonna check out this river through here. I don't remember what he told me what, what's the name of the river. The Red Rivers a little further east. This is, I want to say he said Beach River, because that's the name of the restaurant and bakes up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the rocks. Yeah, there's the dam. mysterious pipe back there. How's it going? We um, we worked a little bit yesterday. We worked six about six and a half hours, six hours yesterday, and uh, it, it's pretty simple work. But you just got to watch yourself because there's a lot of uh, you know a lot of equipment, uh, and you, know, don't, you just got to keep your head on the swivel. And make sure you don't get in the way of, of the skid steer and, and um, you know the trucks. You know you make sure you're you're out of the way of the trucks when they come in and, and everything. All in all, six hours, you know, we got six hours in. It was, it was interesting to kind of know what to do now. And, uh, and you know, first full day is tomorrow. Uh, we'll definitely get 12 hours in tomorrow. Uh, the weather for the next few days is going to be uh, uh, conducive for us to be able to work all day. So I'm excited about that. I'm ready to get to work and start making some money. I mean, we've been making, we made money today, four hours. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I am I'm want to get done so we can get on the road and, um, and maybe maybe hit uh you know the black mountains over in uh in south dakota and, and go to mount rushmore and you know that stuff so uh yeah I'm, i've been i've been dying to 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 see uh some things over there um you know i want to go to uh you know just just different places and uh and you know kind of use this as a adventure too not just work you know uh so Hopefully we'll uh, we'll get to do that. You know, it looks like it's pretty good for the next next week or so. Yeah, we're cooking a little uh, grilling little chicken. Um, I had to move out of the way. The wind is blowing really bad today, um, so I had to move behind the trailer a little bit uh, to get these going. But uh, yeah, I got this little gas grill I bought. I've paid nothing for it. You know, it's been working pretty good. You just got to watch it. Get a little flame up on you in a heartbeat. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Uh, we went into work this morning at 7 o'clock. Thought we were going to get to work and um, 
it rained all night long last night, so uh, the growers called and uh, canceled the day. So we showed up for about an hour and went home. I got paid for four hours, but you know, hopefully the weather's going to hold off for tomorrow. I, I think it will. Um, I don't know. It just depends on how how many the, muddy the fields are. You, you know, so we're going to hang in there. Maybe, maybe soon we can make a full day. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it's starting to rain again. Hopefully, we can get this in today. Maybe it'll just be a little light rain and we'll be able to get at it. Well, we are here. We're just waiting for the go-ahead. Uh, the weather's been crappy. It's muddy everywhere. And uh, we're just in the hurry-up-wait process. Hey, it's uh, Friday the 5th, and uh, for October, it's uh, it's been a change. It's really cold right now. It's 50 degrees and spinning rain, and I'm doing this. Turkey burgers and Billy burgers. Yeah, it's uh, October 5th. They called a few people in to work later on this afternoon, but uh, we're not one of them. So I'm sitting there trying to grill hamburgers in the rain. It starts raining again when it gets started. So <laughs> we're going, we're going to make it. We're making a lot of stay pay right now. Hopefully, uh, next day or two we can start making real pay. Yeah, second uh, full 12-hour day. We're working Sunday, so we're getting actually getting double time pay. So that's pretty nice. Uh, first day went fine, uh, not used to being on my feet for 12 hours, so that kind of got rough toward the end, but it's not a big deal, really, um, uh, it's doable for anybody, really, check this out. That's where they are, look at all the, the sugar beet trucks lined up, goes into that piler. It's a, a muddy mess right now. Uh, we're supposed to have sunshine for the rest of the uh, week, so uh, we should have some drying conditions and make it a little more uh, pleasant out here. But all in all, it's not too bad. The weather is cold yesterday. Today it's not as cold. Um, it's in the 40s right now. What a gorgeous morning we got here at the sugar beet harvest. This is a Thursday morning. We've been at it for about six days now, so. This is not a typical sugar beet. It's as big as a basketball. It got stuck in the chute where we take our samples. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're leaving for the night. Another 12 hour day on Friday the 13th done. Now we get the big money on the weekend, yay. We got a line of trucks all waiting to be unloaded. Hello, this is day 12 uh, of 12 hour days at the sugar beet harvest. Um, after a slow start, we have been nonstop. We're getting close to the end. I don't know exactly how many more days we got left, maybe one or two. Uh, hopefully we'll get through the weekend, but I don't think so. This is um, October the, what the day is this? I haven't missed it. It's been so hard. I don't even know what day it is. Okay, so it's the 17th, 17th of uh, October. And um, like I said, we're, we've been at it for 12 straight days. Uh, with no breaks, 12 hour days. And it looks like we've got maybe one or two days left, I think. So all in all, I think it's been a pretty good experience for me, uh, you know, making some money and being able to travel like I want to. And and uh, that's going to be, 
that's just what I've been trying to find some way to finance my trip. So this is a very good way to do it. That's the one we work on, is pilot number eight. That is Emmy right there in front of that truck, working her tail off. A lot of times we get to take breaks together, but not this time. There's the truck that's loading the beach onto the conveyors, and it goes out. Can't really see the uh, arm yet. It's a little windy today, too. Wind is blowing. There's the arm. The conveyor brings out and dumps the beach. Yeah, that's a 20 foot high pile of beach, sugar beach. Some of them grow as big as a basketball. Believe me, I've seen one. Give it one uniform height. All the fun getting lined up. We're in the latter stages. It's been an experience. Hi, Amy. Good morning. <laughs> uh, guess what? We got the call yesterday, last this or this morning, um, that our job here is over. So we're here at the Hillsboro Cafe for a little breakfast. All the gangs on here. And, uh, we're pretty much whooped. <laughs> We're tired. Yeah, this is pilot number seven. This is how much, how many sugar beets they've done. We're gonna take one less little final look at our. Place where we, I said 12 days. We actually spent 11 days. Seven and Pollard Eight. It is raining bad today, so it is all in the standstill. And I think what's going to happen now is all the the regular employees are going to finish up. Well, we're close to being done anyway. Well, it's official. We got uh, release from our job last night we got the call so we won't be going back um, we're heading to uh, South Dakota next uh, we're gonna stay here another day just to rest and relax and you uh, know get 12 hour days to kill you so we're gonna um, get dressed and go out and eat a little breakfast and, uh, and start cleaning the car and the trailer and getting everything ready to go um, so this is what happened last night. We will be uh, leaving tomorrow. We're headed to South Dakota next. We are in Grand Forks getting a much needed car wash to get this grime off this car from days of driving in the mud. There's City Hall. Part of areas of Hillsboro, North Dakota.